Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Working on this old antique again here today. I'm gonna put this the uh, Banks Dana Monster on here to record the turbocharger performance on this all stock 59 Cummins. So should be an excellent informational gathering endeavor. And uh, my exhaust manifold's tap quarter inch, but my sensors are eighths, so I got some adapters we'll put in there. And I'll bring you over here and show you what I got going on. So we've got uh, two ports there. One will be EGT, one will be pressure. And I'll use a remote mount so the pressure transducer doesn't get destroyed by the heat. And I'm going to come over here. This intake horn has a place here for a fitting. I'm going to drill and tap that. Probably put a T in it to get the pressure and the temperature of the compressor outlet out of that one hole. Uh, it's not double drilled on the other side, or not a boss on the other side. Uh, to put the sensor over there and also it's pretty close to the frame rail so it might will get broke off by the engine rocking over But I don't see why I can't just put the put a T in here and put the sensor here And that'll allow me to get the pressure read at the same point all the time I had considered just using the uh, The wastegate ports on the turbochargers to get the pressures But they're in different places on all the different turbos and that might would produce a different reading just by them being in a different place. So uh, if I do it there, they'll all be reading the same place and the results should be consistent. So it can do a valid comparison for all of them. So we'll do that. Uh, already got the air mouse installed there to determine the ambient conditions and try to keep it out of the weather so maybe it wouldn't get rained on too much. But it still gets plenty of airflow over it. And I've got to turn with the diaphragm upside down the way the book says to do it. Kind of already been playing with where I'm gonna mount this. So this is the cold side of the engine so I figured it'd be uh, longer living over here and my cable length will be a whole lot shorter going into the cab so hopefully the uh, electricals on this truck won't cause too much noise and interfere with the CAN bus or anything on oh, how well shielded Banks has this but we'll find out so I just kind of throw it up there for now uh, I've already taken sensor out there that I don't even use that was for when this engine was in a different truck uh, it had a different harness on it so i'll uh, put my temperature sensor in there for the intake manifold and i'll just take the uh, my boost gauge sensor out there and read my boost right there um, that'll be the manifold parameters and this truck does have the factory RPM sensor, it's not hooked up, but I think it works. Uh, hopefully it works. So I'm gonna try and get a harness and adapt to use that one instead of putting the sensor on here. That'll make my life a lot easier. Other than that, I think that, that, uh, that'll that get the, the basics here, so. Of course, that's more channels than this one module. So I got to get the EGT module over here that I will use for the compressor outlet and the turbine inlet temps because those will be way too hot to read with a, the temperature sensor. I'll get some of these adapters put in and some sensor screwed in and I'll bring you back. Well, temperature sensor is in the manifold and the boost pressure sensor also on the manifold. Mm -hmm. 
Over here, I've got my elbow in with my EGT and pressure to read coming out of the turbocharger. So that'll be the same setup for all these turbos. So the position of the sensor shouldn't make any difference in the readings. The next thing I need to do is to do the intake side. So I thought about putting a ring in here in front of this that I could use, but it gets it too close to the alternator. So I'm going to sacrifice this pipe here and try and use some of this super epoxy to epoxy these fittings, these bungs in here. And I'll just drill and tap and glue it to that. So let me get this pulled off here and rub down with some alcohol and cleaned up as best I can and see if I can super glue these on there. So I'll do that and bring you back. Well, there it is. Let's we'll see how it does long term, but so far they seem to be stuck on there. Uh, got a bracket made and mounted on rubber there on the valve cover for attaching uh, exhaust pressure sensors to. There's some waiting on the rest of that hardware to come in because it's back ordered. And also I can't hook all this stuff up because the uh, modules or harnesses are also back ordered. So that's uh, what I'm waiting on to get this finished up. But otherwise I've got all my sensors in. So I've got compressor inlet conditions, compressor outlet conditions, also known as intercooler inlet conditions. And then on the other side, we've got the uh, manifold pressure and temperature. And we've got exhaust pressure and the exhaust temperature. So we've still got to build the harness to hook up to the RPM sensor and hope it works, otherwise I'll have to put the uh, bank's RPM sensor on there. I'd rather not get into that if I can, use the factory stuff. Make my life a little easier. I've got the uh, module mounted there. So the one cable will come off all this and go into the cab to the gauge. So that is one nice thing is that all this can stay out under the hood and you don't have uh, 50 wires going through the firewall. And we've got everything run up out away from any heat. So, and I'll have all my pressure sensors right there where I can just plug them all in together. And they're mounted away from the heat so the turbochargers won't be damaging them. So that's it for now. Uh, waiting on parts once I get the rest of them in I'll get this hooked up and we'll go through programming this thing but that's the first part of the install on this bank data monster setup so I don't really intend to leave it on this truck it'll go with the dyno but uh, for now this is the road dyno so I'll use this for tuning the twin system too once that gets put on here so 
Follow along and thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.